we just flew a mission in 25 below zero over sea ice a kilometer and a half out fully successfully running sensors batteries and everything else after months if not years of work i'm speechless right now what a day it's great to be in such a spectacular location the isolation the stillness and the pristine nature of it also fantastic to be here with the crew with the team feeling good about the rest of the week and keen to get some really really good data that will in turn help us to perform our mission here and collect some really rigorous high resolution data from one flight to the next the engineers from northrop grumman and the scientists from san diego zoo global capture the critical data they came for we give the unmanned aerial system a pre-programmed polygon or area of interest that we want to survey and then we'll go up and then it will actually calculate the flight path it needs to fly in order to give us the data and we can actually say we want an image to be taken from the sensor suite. Today we got as rather close to the water, a boundary right now, uh, where the ice is, uh, is not fully formed yet and I'm excited to go out there and uh, prove out that the system can do it. At the same time, a little apprehensive. Uh, we're getting some pretty strong gusts out there and uh, the copter keeps telling me, it's like, hey, hey buddy, real windy up here, you know, let's, let's be careful. So uh, I, I try to be as much as I can in tune there with the system. Man, uh, so today is Sunday. I'm out here in uh, snowing weather up in near the Knife River Delta. Uh, we're waiting for the wind to die down, the snow to die down a little so we can go flying again on the lake do some more aerial missions, ready to go, so right on. fly one mission and prove out that the system works. Now we need to do that over and over again, and that's how you do science. Doing really good right now. My hands are toasty from the glove warmers. Our scientists are quite ecstatic. So we just flew two missions back to back. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling? This is awesome. Uh, the two missions we've done back to back now cover exactly what we wanted to do at San Diego Zoo Global out here. We got all the elevations nailed now, so we've done a mission for sea ice mapping at 20, 70, and 120 meters. Conservation is a long journey and it's not a spectator sport. And so we're proud to be where we are in this process and to have delivered data to our scientists. I, I am so surprised that we actually made it. Oh, oh wait a moment. No, I, I mean, of course we're going to make it, but uh, honestly, that was, uh, it was awesome. It was like uh, all our what we thought could happen, happened. We did what we said we were going to do. After, after our mission out and us getting back that info and all that data, we bring it back, we stitched it, and just, just see those photos and all that data and the point cloud and everything just come together. It was, it was such a relief. This, the scope of what we're doing is, is so amazing and I'm just glad to be part of it and to be able to go forward and, and take all this data for the scientists to put forward in their papers and raise awareness and even within our own company to raise awareness and stimulate the imagination of the next generation. Um, you know, that, that's something really special. After coming back yesterday after the mission and seeing the data of the ice and getting to look at it in all these different ways, you know, something ran through my head about how, you know, this collaboration is really helping to bring science to help connect us to the Earth. This data is helping show what's happening to the ice in relation to us, not only bears, but, you know, people and how it's going to affect us. See you later, Hudson Bay! It's been fun, it's been real, but you know, it's going to be a while.